Get $1,500 cash rebate on qualified HVAC systems from Premier Heating and Air. No payments for 60 days for qualified buyers. Get financing options no matter what your credit situation. Call 478-300-2633 or log on to DublinPremierIsHere.com. Premier Heating and Air, a locally owned and operated company. Offer ends 1130-24. Welcome everybody, we're here at the Lawrence County Courthouse uh, Sheriff. I cannot believe we've got the results in this quick. I hope they're like this all over Georgia. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, congratulations, brother. Thank you very much. Uh, four more years as sheriff, and uh, you uh, run a hard campaign. Yes, sir. Uh, you had a, a, an opponent that it got kind of tough at times, but uh, it's over with now. What do you like to say about this election? Well, <clears throat> basically, uh, I'm going back to the, the men and women that, that I represent, the, the staff at the Lawrence County Sheriff's yeah. Department. Uh, my opponent was accusing us of not having camaraderie right. and loyalty to the department, and I couldn't be more proud of those people than I am tonight. Yeah. I mean, it just shows the love that they've got for me and, and respect that they've got for me and the <clears throat> respect that I've got for them. It's just been a wonderful, it's a good feeling. Anytime you have an opponent, you, you're nervous about it, but uh, yeah. it's just been a, a blessing to know that the people and the citizens of Lawrence County appreciate the job that we've done. And I want to continue to be the sheriff. And I'm humbled to be the sheriff of Lawrence County. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just, today I had over 21 employees that took leave time and stood out there and waved for me today. Wow. Look here, that's that's that, that's just, that was the most humbling yeah. experience I had because when you type 21 people to just take their lunch hour or put in leave slips and say, hey, we're going to wave for you, sheriff, you, you feel like you, you, get, got, you got your people. Yeah, and not getting paid. Right, and, uh, and just the love that, that, that we got here at the sheriff's department, it, it is a family. And I'm so proud of the, every man and woman that works for me. Yeah, and uh, I'm in there a lot. And even when you're not there, and you can just tell, uh, it's, uh, to me, it, it seems like it's a family. It is a family. And it's a family, and we, we look after each other. And like I say, we, we, I just couldn't be prouder of the, of the, the people at the Lawrence County Sheriff's Park. My majors, captain, <coughs> lieutenant, secretaries, jailers, everybody. They make the Lawrence County Sheriff's Department, and we try to be efficient for them as we can, and we try to answer calls just as efficient as we can, and we can continue to do that. And I'm, like I say, I'll stand on my record. If, if you have any questions about some of the progress that we made, just come by and visit me at the Lawrence County yeah. Sheriff's Department. And I, I, I still want to post my phone out there, 478-488-1974, and I'm available to the public of Lawrence County. I do cut it off at night. But I can take it up the next morning, and I keep it on about yeah. 10, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. So if you uh, want to speak to the sheriff, give me a call. Thank and, you, you know, uh, I've heard a couple of your deputies talk. Some of these cases are tough. And uh, one of your deputies told me that you stayed on the job up for 36 hours. Now, that right there, uh, when well, you've got something you're working on, and whether it's a drug bust or it's a missing person or whatever, uh, you can't go home and turn it off, can you? No, no, sir, because, you know, if I got deputies out there and if we got serious cases and people have been hurt and people have been murdered in drug cases like that, you want to be out there with your people. And they appreciate it. I may not be, the, I may just be out there supporting them or bringing them a bottle of water or something like that, but, but the people, they just respect you for being there. Yeah. And, and I, I, I want to earn their respect just like I want to earn their, every citizen in Lawrence County's vote. Uh -huh. I, I, and my, I try to earn the respect of my, my deputies and every citizen of this county. And I'm just so proud to be the, and humbled to be the sheriff of Lawrence County. And you work side by side with them. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be at a, a thing here in town uh, recognizing the four men uh, that basically saved Justin Shirley's life. Yes sir. Uh, yes, sir. I've always said that if I'm in a car wreck, in a surrounding county, drag me over the county line and right. call the Lawrence County EMA. Exactly. And I really mean that right. because they're the, Terry Cobb and that group, or Josh McCard, the fire department, they're the best trained, just, uh, and, and there again, they have that same camaraderie right. uh, that the sheriff department does. But uh, I want to talk about something that uh, I know the first time you ran, I interviewed you out at Mr. Padgett's farm, yes, sir. and uh, you come a long way since then. Well, I, you, <laughs> to be a sheriff, you're going to learn something every day. And yeah. the longer you're a sheriff, the smarter and better job you're going to be able to do for yeah. the citizens of the county. Because I'm telling you, after eight years, I, I learn something every day. Oh, yeah. And it's just amazing. But I have a group of people around me that, 
that know the law, they're expert, experts, and they're, you know, I got investigators, I got traffic units, I got people that work child molestation cases. We got, we got a great group, and we also got a training officer mm -hmm. that keeps us up to par on everything. In other yeah. words, when I first come into office, our men are averaging 70 hours of training. We only require 20 by the state, but we, we're, most of them are getting 70, and some of them getting up to 150, 200 hours. If they well, it saves to, lives. Yes, sir. It does. It saves it lives. It saves lives. Well, the point I was getting to from that, something that was important to you early on was getting these men and women's pay up because you got to admit, you don't do it to get rich off of. Now, you got to feed your family, and you got to be able right, to make right. money, but... I know how proud you are of that, but talk and let the citizens, the debates are over, all the elections over, the, the, the voters have spoken. Right. But uh, talk a little bit about um, why you are so personal about getting these men and women more money. Well, it's just, I've been there and it's, it's always been a shame that law enforcement always had to have a second job to support their families. And they're trained in their professions, so let's, let's, let's pay them because it's a love for the job. It's, it's, they don't do it to get rich. And, you know, and I know we got some crucial times, and I've got some plans for the future mm -hmm. for, for my men. And, and I'll go ahead and tell you right up front here, we need to do something about the retirement for the, for the men and women of the county. Yeah. I'm talking about <clears throat> countywide. And, like I say, uh, we're going to put that on hold for right now, but we're going to do some, we're going to do our yeah. homework, and, and we're going to present it to the citizens of the county and see what kind of results we get. Well, you have really worked good with the county commissioners. And the county commissioners, to their credit, uh, do you agree on everything? No. no. I mean, me and you don't agree on everything. But, and, th and that's good. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, we had a preacher one time growing up. He said, it's okay to disagree. Just don't be disagreeable. That's right. Don't right. argue about it. Just, you know, speak your mind. But, but uh, you got to admit, the county commissioners have really supported you. They really have. And, you know, like I say, one of the county commissioners said, you've always fought for your men, and that, that's just a good feeling to know that. And, and I'm, I'm proud of that. Well, I, I made that a commitment when I come in that, that I was going to try to make law enforcement <coughs> pay right. What about, the, they've got a new district attorney coming in, and I had lunch with him Saturday, uh, Cheryl Hightower, uh, some of them, Janola Jackson. Right. But uh, he told us at our lunch that day, he said, look, everybody don't belong in jail. But he said, I'm telling you, these gangs and these right, gang bangers, right. they're going to prison. Right. He said, because we're going to make this community safe. He said, I'm going to work with the sheriff and the police chief, Darren Mitchum, Tommy Corbin. Uh, and he said, we're going to take their call. And I'm right. assigning an ADA to each one of them men. And I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. It's just, you know, law enforcement is just communication. <clears throat> You got to have communication back between the DA's office. If we're not making good cases, we, we now we can reach out to our DA and say, "Hey, you need to do this, this, and this to get this case prosecuted." And that's that's the kind of goals that, that I've had the conversation with the uh, district attorney, Hal McClendon, and we're gonna we're gonna work a, do our best to to make the citizens be efficient in this county as we can be. Yeah. Well, he's a, he's a lot like you. He said, "If if it don't happen, hold me responsible." Right. He right. said, hold me responsible. And I know you feel the same way. Right. You know, the buck stops there. Well, me and no Mr. excuses. We go all the way back to 1972. We were actually classmates. Okay, how about that? Yeah, and he used to pick at me, but I, and I used to pick at him. Now, he was pretty, you see how tall and he's a good, good yeah. basketball player. Yeah. I was too short to be a ball player. He was, basketball he was player. a good basketball player. And that's what he said. He compared it to basketball. He said, there's something called a full court press. And that's what we're going to do in this right, county. Right. We're going to put a full court press. And we're gonna we're gonna solve some of this stuff. So I'm looking forward to y'all working together. Uh, he's gonna have an ADA in your office right, right. in the sheriff department. Uh, so uh, we're looking for great things. So you're headed to number 12 years, huh? Yes, sir. And we got we got three good judges that's gonna work with us too. Yep. Yes, sir. I'm Absolutely. just looking. This whole court system is. We're looking forward to everything. We got we got some great judges. We got great prosecutors, and it's just gonna be a different ball game. Well, uh, the numbers tonight, y'all, uh, Sheriff Dean, 15,124 votes. Uh, Tyler Jackson, the Democrat opponent, had 7,839 uh, votes. We had 22,963 people vote out of 33,000 registered good. voters. Right. That, is, uh, that is very good. So right. the people have spoken, and uh, we're going to, you put your faith in Sheriff Dean for four more years. 
and I uh, want to congratulate you, yes, Sheriff. Sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, not only that, but these good-looking grandkids running yes, around sir. here. Even the one needed a quarter. I love that. It don't matter. If, it don't matter if he's on television or not. But uh, <laughs> we see the sheriff numbers coming up up there. So that's it. Okay, brother. Well, you can tell. I just want to say, citizens of Lawrence County, again, I'm humbled to be your sheriff. And I'm so proud of the men and women that I represent at the Lawrence County Sheriff's Department. Thank okay, you, thank you, brother. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. We have a lot to be thankful for during this Thanksgiving season here at Dublin Chevy GMC. And we'd like to pass on those blessings to our customers with savings like these. 2024 Chevy Corvettes, starting at $79,995. Hi, I'm Tom Dominey. Here at Dublin Wynn Nelson, we pride ourselves on providing the industry's highest quality products at the most competitive pricing. We are a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry and we can answer your questions and help you get the parts and equipment you need. From Owen to Renai, we carry the plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products you need from the brands you trust. We also carry a great lineup of Milwaukee tools. At Dublin with Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. If you have a question, or if you're looking for a hard to find part, give us a call. Our experts are ready to help. Order online, give us a call, or come by at 507 Airport Road in Dublin. We're committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. Welcome back, everybody. How with me now, Tyler Jackson. Tyler, uh, you ran a great race. Yes. Uh, you had a lot of people come along beside you, uh, and uh, you probably had a lot of learning experiences. A lot of learning experiences. Uh, but you talked to a lot of people, and uh, I, I, I didn't get that from you, but I get it from people in this community that you didn't shy away. You've tackled the hard subjects, and, uh, and you run hard. What do you say about this race? Well, first and foremost, I want to get Dodd the honor because without him, this would be Amen. impossible. So uh, it's a learning experience. It was the first time running, stepping out, letting my community know that, hey, I'm willing to be a leader in my community. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we got some stuff that we can learn from, mm -hmm. and we're going to go back and we're going to restructure, and we're going to come back in 2028 and give it another yeah. shot. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I remember uh, Bill Harrell lost to Kenny Webb the first time around, and the way he lost, uh, he went on television, he went in the paper, thanked people for their vote, and told everybody, let's get behind our share, and uh, let's support our share. And it took a lot to do that. But the way he uh, lost that race with, with class and character, and he came back the next time and won. You know, um, I had a football coach by the name of Sam Bars. He said, everything that you do, you always do with class. No matter what the outcome is, you do it with class, you show the citizen, hey, that your character. Yeah. Um, regardless of how somebody else may treat you, just always do it with class. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I congratulate the sheriff on this win. You know, I pray he's our sheriff. So yeah. now we got to um, go back to the drawing board, figure out what we need to do mm -hmm. um, for 2028. So we're going to give it another shot. And, you know, like I said, I thank God for um, the opportunity, and I thank everybody who voted for me. I really appreciate it. You know, I'm thankful for that. Um, that's a humbling experience. Yeah. When when people call you and text you and say, hey, you, you got my vote, that means more than anything. Oh, yeah. So, we're gonna, oh, yeah. like I said, you know, um, we're not going to give up. We're going to go back to the drawing board, and we're going to come back in 2028, and we're going to give it another shot. Well, and you know my son well. I taught him. He played football in high school, too. But I always told him, I said, don't ever be a good loser. No. You be a good sport. You be don't want to be a good loser. But you do it with class. You shake the other man's hand. And, uh, and then you come back out fighting again on another Friday night. But uh, you, you got to have that class, and, I, and I've seen it in you all the way. Well, you know, uh, even when um, nobody's watching, God is always watching. Amen. So he knows what's going on, and we're going to leave it in his hands. And, you know, like I said, the <clears throat> sheriff won tonight. We congratulate him. Uh, he's our sheriff for the next four years. And uh, we're going to give it another shot here in 2028. So. Well. It's got to be humbling that uh, you had 7,839 people voted for you. Hey, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. So That's got to um, make you feel good. It makes me feel 
Real Almost 8,000 people. Almost Think 8, about that. So, uh, um, that's still, we still had a good voters turnout. So we're gonna, like I said, um, we're gonna go back to the drawing board, figure out what we could do better, uh, come back in the next four years mm -hmm. and give it another shot. You know, because hey, without God, this was all yeah. impossible. Amen. What would you say to people watching right now, especially young people, which I know you have a special place in your heart for our young people. I've seen that throughout this race. What would you say to some young person that would like to get into the law enforcement and uh, kind of don't know whether it's the right thing to do? What would you say to encourage them? I would say give it a give it a shot. Um, always take a chance on something. And as um, far as law enforcement, you can, it's a local hero um, to be in your community. Um, you get to meet a lot of great people in the community. So um, I would encourage you to just to give it an opportunity and see if you like it. And, and to the voters, if you haven't voted this year, voting is very important. Yeah. So, um, 2028, I will be running again against the sheriff, and um, we're going to see how that goes. Okay, congratulations. Hey, thank you, brother. You run a good race, brother. Thank you. Thank you.